Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I'm James. I'm Adam. And we're here today to give you guys our Aston Villa preview. Hopefully you guys are all going to enjoy it. Obviously we're here to give you the starting 11, the score prediction and finally our rating out of 10. Uh, this video is not with the Tyler stand. Obviously, the next one will be with them. Obviously, the score predictions. Obviously, we want you guys for the prediction league. So, uh, hold your horses just yet. Comment that in tomorrow's video. But, uh, yeah, we're here today to give you guys our starting 11 and also our score. Um, yeah, might as well go ahead and crack into it. And goal, I'm going to go with Ali Al Habsi. Obviously, no really questions about it. Yeah, I'm going to go Habsi as well. Again, nothing to say. He's number one. <laughs> <laughs> now, right back, I'm going to go with Chris Gunter. I feel like he had quite a good game when he took over the captain's armband against QPR. Obviously the first half he was very influential uh, down that right side and uh, yeah throughout the second half wasn't really in the game too much but uh, yeah still was was a positive impact was Gunter. Yeah I'm gonna go Chris Gunter as well um obviously I didn't go to the QPR game but uh what I heard I heard he had a good game obviously captain so you know big uh, step up for him but yeah Chris Gunter. Uh, going to the centre-back positions I'm gonna go with Joey Vandenberg and Liam Moore. Don't know to the extent of Paul McShane's injury just yet, um, but I mean, we might as well play it safe and play Joey there. Obviously, actually, I don't know how safe that is. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick them to centre back. Though I think they had quite a good game together. Joey was very calm on the ball. Actually, he actually thought about his passes, which is something you've criticised yeah. him not doing in the past. He actually did think about it this time. Um, another thing that Joey did, it was fantastic tackling as always, which he always seems to do. Joey seems to bring out two or three brilliant tackles a game. Um, and finally, Liam Moore again. There's not really too much else to say about him. I feel like he's probably the best centre back. He's probably a little bit better than Paul McShane. Yeah, I'm going to go with Liam Moore. Uh, if Paul McShane is, you know, fit, I don't know if he is going to be, but I'll put Paul McShane in there. If not, I'll put Joey in there as well. Uh, he can do a shift in there. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. Left back, going to go with Jordan Obi. I didn't think Tyler Black had a good game at uh, QPR. He had flashes of goodness, but most of the party, most of the time he got done by his man and didn't really do too well. His, him and Joey Vandenberg were kind of at fault for their goal. Uh, both kind of sloppy communication. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to put Jordan Obeater in as I feel like Tyler Blackett again is more the away left back, whereas you play Jordan Obeater when it's home. Um, I've kind of said that throughout the season really since we've signed Blackett. Um, yeah, put Jordan Obeater back in at left back. I'm going to say Jordan Obeater as well. Um, what I heard, uh, Tyler Blackett didn't have the best of games uh, when I was, uh, for the goal. It was you know sort of his fault. Um, uh, for the goal, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be in central midfielders and central defensive midfielder. I'm going to go with George Evans, Danny Williams, and John Swift. Um, they're kind of the three that play in midfield when Joey's uh, moving around or injured. Um, yeah, when Joey's back in the team, Joey usually replaces Evans or Williams. Um, yeah, I mean, them three, they're all right. They're, they're a good three mid man midfield. Obviously, you've got Evans, who's like kind of the sitting back guy. Uh, you've got Danny Williams and John Swift, who like to push forward. And yeah, Williams sometimes comes back. John Swift, though, as I've noticed a little bit recently, going back, he's very, very lazy. So maybe that's something he needs to step up on his game. But um, yeah, apart from that, he's not really in the team to defend. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. I'm going to do exactly three. Uh, not much to add on, really, there. Um, they've been all three of them fantastic uh, this season. Uh, one of the best midfielders in a long time, to be fair. But uh, yeah, good move him. Right wing, going to go Gareth McCleary. He's a little bit sloppy since he's come back from his red card. Not really up to it, not as fresh. Um, yeah, I mean, but I'm going to go for McCleary once again. Um, obviously, there's not really too much else. He got the assist at the weekend as well, uh, so I might as well keep him in the team. Yeah, I'm going to go for McCleary as well. Um, yeah, he, as you said, he hasn't, you know, don't seem to be doing the best recently. He's come back from a red card. But uh, hopefully, you know, against Villa, he'll step up and yeah, get a goal. Left mid, I'm actually going to make a change. Um, as I have Roy Burns on the back of my shirt, I'm actually replacing him, putting Callum Harriet in the team. Um, putting Harriet in there because I feel like Roy Burns again is a little bit lazy. Uh, so much said about Swift's defending. Roy Burns doesn't really chase for balls that often. I think he's got one assist this season. And I don't know, I just don't feel like Roy Burns is that massive player we hyped him up to be. I feel like maybe he's a little bit low on confidence at the moment. Um, so maybe if he gets replaced, maybe come on a little bit later in the game where he can show his skill and stuff like that, where players are a little bit tired. Um, maybe we can show that. But um, yeah, I'm going to give Callum Harriet a chance. He didn't really take his chance though when uh, obviously McCleary was suspended. So hopefully he can take this one. Uh, I'm going to go with Roy Behrens, though. I'm going to stick with Roy Behrens. Um I heard, you know, he, he played alright against QPR. He got a few shots in there. Uh, very unlucky. Did he, I think he hit the post, did he, at the bar? No, he didn't. Did he hit it at all? No, no oh, okay. keep it safe. Oh, keep it safe. Keep it safe. That was it. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think, you know, he's a fantastic player at home. He doesn't seem the best away, but at home, you know, he's not afraid to take on the man. He's not afraid to shoot, which is what we like to see from our wingers. Not if we cross it in. But, um, yeah. Okay, and finally up front I'm going to go with Jan Kermgen, someone who 
I feel I would personally defend him um, out of all the criticism. That's what I do recently. I defend Jan Kermigan because he's there to do a job of flick the ball on to the supporting people. He doesn't get the support he has. People, uh, The wingers don't come inside, um, which is something that's a little bit critical. Obviously, Jan Kermigan wins 9 out of 10 flick-ons. You could even say 10 out of 10 flick-ons, but he doesn't get the support that he needs. Um, every time he wins the ball in the air, he wins it every time. Like, without question, Jan Kermigan wins the ball in the air every single time. Um, yeah, and I feel like people are really harsh to criticise him when he wins these balls. He's not a player that you're going to be like, oh, let's ping it over the top for him so we can sprint onto it. No, he's not that type of player. And I think fans need to realise that Jan Kermigan is a target man and he is there to do a specific job. So, um, yeah, keep Jan up front. Uh, I'm going to put Jan in there because you know, he's sort of the only striker we have really. Not really going to pick Mendes. Uh, don't rate him very highly at all. But um, uh, also, Dominic Samuel would have choice. But again, he hasn't been playing the best either. Can't score against Portsmouth. But um, yeah, I'm going to put Jan Kermigan in there. Uh, again, he's a, a target man. Um, you know, he hasn't got a goal at home yet. But uh, hopefully, t uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, you know, that will um, break. Change. Yeah. Um, getting people to come off the bench, um, Roy Behrens I'd pick, uh, Liam Kelly wouldn't mind seeing him come off the bench, Dominic Samuel maybe, obviously hopefully he can make an impact, um, yeah, anyone you'd like uh, Mendes, come off the bench, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, not much for him, but uh, yeah, that's about it. And finally, going on to our score prediction, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Aston Villa. Sorry, I'm going for a Villa win, um, I just... I don't know, I just feel like they've got a new manager in Steve Bruce, he's had a couple of days to put his philosophies into players, and I feel like they're just going to jump. Don't together. change it for four. Five I'm not. Four no, I'm not changing it. I'm saying it's one 0 to Aston Villa. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go with Codger to get the first goal. Um, I'm going to go one all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the first goal scorer. I'm Have you three one ones in a row? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go uh, Gav McCleary first goal scorer. Um, yeah, Tish Brodo is also going to come back. Do you reckon Tish Brodo be starting? Yeah. Yeah. I Alright, Louis Yeti scores against us, but... Um, scores and shushes the fans. Yeah. No, but, um, yeah, I'm going for a 1-0 Villa, because they're bringing 4,000 down as well. I think they're going to want to play for them as yeah. well, aren't they? But, um, yeah. yeah, rating out of 10, I'm going to go with 5. Uh, I'm going to go with a 7, um, so, you know, not the highest, but it's still pretty up there, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so. So it's going to be for today's video guys, I want you guys to comment your starting 11 down in the comment section below obviously to see what you guys think about the uh, Reading team. So yeah, apart from that's going to be for today's video guys, hope you've all enjoyed it and we'll see you guys for tomorrow's video uh, with the Tyler Stand prediction and finally our match day experience. So we hope you guys all enjoy it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.